Tim Shaw. Tim Shaw. Tim Shaw. Tim Shaw. Tim Shaw. Tim. Tim Shaw. Hello everybody, welcome to a brand new series. Now I'm calling it beautifully the Doctor Who After Show Show. Uh, so what this is, is basically I'm going to be giving you an in-depth review for each and every single episode of series 11 of Doctor Who. So in this one we're going to be talking about the woman who fell to earth, this series opener, and it was just such a great episode, really really good looking back. I've seen the episode twice now, I've seen it from start to end, I've done the one where I reacted to it and I watched it again this morning. Now, I want to talk about the music first because this is the thing that I was really, really nervous about once seeing it the first time. The new composer is completely different to Murray Gold, like his, his style of music is so different, I think you can't be any further. It was almost like watching a series of Bodyguard, which has been on the BBC recently. Um, the music was electronic, which was, we've had that before in Doctor Who, but it was completely different because the electronic theme was throughout the whole episode. But I will talk about the Doctor's theme because that was just so good, honestly. If you listen to it with your earphones, you can hear the melodies and you can hear all the different sorts of, I don't know what the actual technical term is for music numbers and whatever, but the Doctor's theme is really good and it, there is a chance to add a few variations to it. Another thing as well is like the, the episode itself had a complete and utterly different tone and a completely different feel to it, which I'm going to be honest, I, I don't know whether it's going to be the best thing for Doctor Who, it's going to take a bit of time to adjust to it, but it's not the worst that it could have been. Like It is different and Doctor Who is always one of these shows that's completely about change, which we need basically. But the new companions as well are really, really different, each and every single one of them. We've got Graham, Yaz and we've got Ryan. Now, I will be honest, I'm not the biggest Ryan fan just yet. I, I do like him, but he's yet to shine on me, and it is a bit worrying for me because this episode was kind of... Not about Ryan, but he was the main companion out of them all, I think. Just in this episode, at least, anyway. We don't know much about Yaz, which... I'm excited to know her backstory, actually, because I really do like Yaz. I like her a lot more than I thought I would, and Graham... I adore Graham, he's, he's totally like me, although actually in other senses he's not because I'd run to the aliens, not want to step back, but a lot of his characteristics is exactly what I'm like in a way. Um, so I love Bradley Walsh anyway, he's just such a great actor, and I want to say kudos to the woman who played Grace as well because she won me over the split second she was on screen, like a little gay run. And my button just done pops there, did you see that? But that bit of a gay run, I just love things like that. And she was such a strong female character. And for her to be killed off in the first episode, it's just tragic. We can't talk about all these different companions without mentioning the new Doctor. Jodie Whittaker was bloody brilliant. Absolutely brilliant. And she is... She's a different Doctor, I can see a lot of the 11th Doctor in there, but not in a bad way for me because I have been honest before, like the 11th Doctor isn't the best one for me, but it was really, really good to see some sort of mannerisms that the Doctor's had before, and she's a completely different Doctor as well. One thing I do want to say, which I want you to put in the comments if you, you know what I mean by this, but I love the fact that the 13th Doctor stayed around, went to the funeral, Grace's funeral, and she she stayed with everybody for quite a bit of time after. I love the fact that she was keep, made, keeping Ryan company when he was talking about his dad. I love the fact that she was giving Graham a lot of sympathy when he was speaking about the cancer. Um, and I don't, what I wanted to get to is I can't actually see 12 or 11 or even 10 doing that. I mean, they probably would, but I can't picture the scenes with them stood there and listening, like, because the, the 13th Doctor seems to be, she gives a lot of time to her new friends. 
so that's really really nice to be able to get to see and also we need to mention Tim Shaw Tim Shaw Tim Shaw Tim Shaw Tim Shaw Tim Shaw Tim Tim Shaw great villain not so much like in the teeth if I'm honest what a great just a really nice villain to introduce us to a whole new world of Doctor Who and I really do like the idea that Earth is a hunting ground for one person. Makes me wonder though why that alien race chose a random normal person. Because surely if they wanted someone to be appointed the leader, surely they'd want to... I don't know, like can you imagine Tim Shaw going on a hunt for Adolf Hitler or something like that? Do you know what I mean? Like surely they'd want them to hunt someone really badass. But then again, I don't know. I don't know how alien worlds up there and all that work. I, I don't study that sort of thing. Yeah, just, I really did like it. Just a great episode and such a strong start to a series and I hope that it develops. In fact, it will, I don't know what I'm hoping, but I really do want to see a lot more of Yaz, as I mentioned, I wanna know her story. And I am looking forward to seeing more of 13. So yeah, that concludes my little review. And now it's time for the feature. Woo! Okay, so I'm on a budget for these uh, videos. I've, I've got next to no money at all. So what I've done is I've customized a notebook. What I'm gonna be doing is I'm gonna be basically ranking the episodes from start to finish. And as we go week by week, you're gonna see which episodes are my favorites as the time goes on. So, I've got one episode. One episode, I wonder where this is gonna go. Like, I don't even know if you can see this on the camera, this could be absolutely going awful. If I can put the bloody thing on. There you go. So, The Woman Who Fell to Earth, obviously we've just got one episode out at the minute. That's obviously at spot number one, but as the weeks go on, I'm gonna be rearranging these episodes to suit my favorites. And I'm also gonna give this episode a seven out of 10 so far. I do really want to give it more, um, but I have to give my true verdict on it. I have seen The Eleventh Hour, um, Deep Breath, and I do really think that they are better series openers for a Doctor in particular. Um, but it was a really good opening episode, and it does beat for me. It beats The Christmas Invasion, and it beats Rose. Um, so it was nice to see an opener that wasn't so, well, weren't so, not tragic, not trash, because they weren't, but better than Rose and the Christmas Invasion were, because I'm, I'm not a big fan of either of them two. But yeah, it was a really nice opener, and it's really nice to see Doctor Who reintroduce new fans, because I have seen a couple of people um, start to watch it, which is really nice. Okay, so that's that. I hope that you've enjoyed this first episode. I'm going to be doing the same next week for the Ghost Monument. Um, so I hope that you're looking forward to that and let me know in the comments what you thought of the episode as well because it's nice to hear your opinions too. So yes, until next week I will see you very very soon for more Doctor Who shenanigans. Bye guys!